this entitled and this type of victim mentality, it absolutely has to stop. Listen, when a cop pulls you over and he's being nice, polite, respectful, return it back to them. There's absolutely no reason for you to probably simply turn a warning or a citation into an arrest. I don't know what this young generation thinks. That acting up, disrespecting the police, acting a whole fool, on their phones, what is that doing for you? I'm pretty sure it's doing nothing. Listen, if you're a young man, young woman watching this video, pay close attention on how you can avoid situations that you're about to see in this video. All right, always remember, life is about the choices and the decisions that you make. Because when you do certain things, trust me, it comes to consequences. And if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section. And let me know what you think about this video in the comments. With that said, let's get into this one. On March 18, 2023, officers conducted a traffic stop on a vehicle for an improper right turn. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Well, you're warning or something. Do you have your license with you? I do have my license. The reason we pulled you over is when you guys turned out, you made an improper right. Improper right? Yep. An improper right is when you basically make a right hand turn. And yeah, you yeah, I know exactly what you're saying. We were just at. Do you, have a, do you have a medical marijuana card? I don't have a medical marijuana card. No, I wasn't driving earlier. Also, oh. she was just I was maybe sitting, but I wasn't. Driving. Well, she was sitting. Wait, why were you watching me? Just... We we drove by. We drove by. Yeah. But yeah, I was just sitting there. All right. Do you have an idea on you? No, I'm just a passenger. Okay, we'll step out because we smell. We both smell marijuana, so step out. Step out. Step out of the car. Playing on the phone. Yeah, step out of the car. I'm gonna pull you out. Yeah, the cars are still in these smell weed and they're trying to pull me out and do like... Okay, come on. That's just stuff. Step out. You don't have, you're not, you don't have the right. Ma'am, step out of the car. No, I do have the right. Come over here. A few moments later. Ma'am, step you out of the car. You're watching me over there. Don't touch me. Ma'am, I'm about to grab don't you. Don't step you. out of the don't car. You dare don't you dare don't touch me. Don't you dare touch me. Hey, hey! Dang! Stop, stop! Stop, stop! Shoot! Stop, stop, stop! Damn, they're not playing. Oh, look! Yeah, they just did this literally because you came. And all we did was come out here. Came out the neighborhood, and they just slammed her on the ground. Did you slam her? Number? Hey, get back! What's your bad Get back! Get you want to go to jail too? Right. Get on the sidewalk. Okay. Just stand Don't. here. And he just put his hands on the get up. <laughs> no, she's sobbing. That's right. Play time over. Hey, don't Mad rude. Car. Mad rude for no reason. Hey. Okay. Just can you come chill over here for me, man? Don't do I'm not, not put gonna, your hands. I have no reason to touch you. On me. I'm putting my hands okay. on you. Okay, I have not no reason. To Stop walking away. Then. The then. Walk Back over up. there. Walk no. over there. I'm not walking nowhere. I'm standing on the sidewalk like stay you just told here. me. Okay. You said go on the sidewalk. Why are you I'm on the sidewalk. Why are you? Why are you telling me to do different stuff? You dumbass. Why are you You're a rookie. Stay you stay young man, you're going about this all wrong. You yelling, screaming, throwing a whole tantrum. For absolutely nothing. Look at the girl. Cop asked her for her um, identification. Step out the car. Don't touch me. You can't tell me what to do. <sighs> Listen, young man, I've been there before. I've been stopped by the cops. I probably was a little younger than you. I was like 16, 17. Cop pulled up on me. He thought I had something on me. Mad cops came, like six cop cars, man. Yeah, I was scared and nervous, but you know what I did? I complied, I stayed quiet, they searched me, they pat me down. Because around that time, the area I was, people was doing a lot of drugs, selling drugs and stuff like that, right? So I understood why. You know what I mean? I complied. They did what they had to do. They had me in cuffs, searched me, checked me. They didn't, well, you know what they found? Absolutely 
nothing. All they saw, all they found was the bag of the mini marshmallows. That's all I had. And you know what he, he said? Hey, young man, I apologize. I'm sorry. I was wrong. Hope you have a good day. Shook my hand. Y'all want to act out and disrespect and yell like y'all think you're talking to your homeboys, man. You got to know there's a place and time for everything, man. This is not the place and time for you to act out like this. Matter of fact, there's never a good time. But some situations where you're going to have to act out. This right here is unnecessary, man. Whatever you put on yourself, remember, guys, at this point in time, he's not being arrested. But somehow I have a gut feeling the way he's talking, he's going to push them now to arrest him. I'm on the sidewalk. I'm on the sidewalk. I'm, I'm not going right. nowhere. I'm not going right. nowhere. I'm staying on the sidewalk. Okay, grab him. I'm staying Stop. on the sidewalk. Oh. Stop I'm not going nowhere. I'm staying Stop. on this. No. No. Dang. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Get me out of here. No. Y'all too rude. I'm not moving. Stop. I'm staying on the sidewalk. I'm no not reason. Doing I'm not doing anything. Stop. I'm not doing nothing. I'm not doing anything. Stop. I'm not doing. Okay, I will. I will stop. Bro, I wasn't stop. doing nothing. I'm not doing nothing. I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing nothing. Oh. Reality check. Dude. Oh. Give your hands. Oh. Give us your hands. My boy act like he's playing football over here. He's holding on to that phone for dear life. That is life support, man. You can't, sir, you cannot afford to drop that phone. Ain't no telling what can happen. So far, I haven't heard that I can't breathe yet. I'm pretty sure when you take that phone from him, he's going to have a problem breathing. I'm just saying. Yo, man, you're not going to win. Stop! Stop! Oh. Stop! Oh. Stop! Oh, okay, stop reaching! You're about to break my neck Okay, reaching. stop, stop! Let I'm go of your hands! Let go of your hands! I let go of your hands! Stop! Damn, no. he has a grip on that phone! I'm not doing nothing, please stop! Please freaking stop! Please stop! Yeah, hey, she's quiet now though. Damn, the crocs went flying. Wasn't he a tough guy like a few minutes ago? Ow. Ow. What happened? Ow, I am. I'm not doing nothing. Dude, just stop. Give us your hands. I've said it a hundred Even the bystanders telling them, young man, just comply. Give them your hands. Ah, they, they just don't learn. Can't be my arms. Oh my God. Ow. Ow. Yeah. Ow. 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 I can't breathe. Okay. I told you guys. <laughs> Somehow, I, you see, I, I'm like a psychic, man. I knew it once they took that phone. Mm. No, he can't breathe. Wasn't he that same tough guy? Was yelling and screaming and throwing up hands, all type of stuff. What happened? Boy, never got manhandled in his entire life, huh? All right, young man. This is how the real world operates. All right. The generation is too damn disrespectful. Water, water, water. Stop. Water, water, water. You're, you're, you're drinking the wrong water. Sit up. Sit up. Bring your feet. Hold me. Ow. Ow. Can I have water, please? Yeah, hold on. Mr. Murphy, please. Murphy, there's nothing in my pockets, I swear to God. Ow, my arm, my arm, my arm. Ow. Oh, big old baby. Mr. Ow, Shut up. Ow, ow, stop. No, your arm, dude, my arm, dude, my you. elbow. Move your arm from like that, please. Dude, please move your, move your arm. You. Tough move your guy, arm huh? Under my elbow. Dude, why does it feel like that? I think my arm's broken. I was thinking hey, my arm is broken. He's got a, I think he's got a zero in his hands. Don't grab it. I won't. Do not. Oh, stop, stop. 
Back up. Back up. Back up. Hey, I just pulled this out of his ass, okay? What? Yes, so get back. Oh! No, I did not have that on me. No. Gotcha. Gotcha. That's his mom. Look at her. My son, we've been true enough. You heard what he does up to his mom? Mom, I didn't have that on me. That cop literally pulled it from you and showed you. Oh, mother. Now, man, you're the mother. What you gonna do? You don't, you don't even acknowledge that your son has that gun. He doesn't, he doesn't even try to lie to you. So I'm talking about, you guys see it. A lot of time when parents don't pay attention to the kids or they don't have that communication with their kids, a lot of times when kids go there and do um, outrageous stuff, parents like totally shocked. You shouldn't be shocked. If you had that communication with your kids and you would check up on them very oftenly, you would know when they're hiding something. You would know how they're behaving. I know my kids in and out. I talk to my kids about life. I give them the life talk already. And they still very young compared to this young man. But I started it out early because I know how this timeline is and this generation is. I give them that pep talk. Get in this type of situations. Comply. Even if you may, even if you know you don't do anything. If it's any type of missing just, you get down there, you call your father, I will come down there. What he did, he had a gun on him, but decided to act stupid and give them a reason now to arrest him, discovering the gun. Young man, if you know you had that gun on you, you're supposed to be the most saintful guy they have ever pulled over. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, you want to step away? Oh, okay. Babe, don't do that. Don't stop. Babe, babe, calm down. Just give me the notification, babe. I'm the most sinful guy you ever talked to, sir. I might even read you a few scriptures out of the Bible. I'm the saint. No, let me act outrageous. That's why I don't understand the generation. And that's why you see them when they're doing crime, they're recording their crime. I just robbed him over the next block on so and so. Yeah, he had this car. Oh, you want a license plate number two? They record every damn thing. Since when you record your own crimes or go online and tell people about the crimes that you committed. The generation is lost. Kind became stupider at a frightening rate. The population exploded and intelligence continued to decline. Ma'am, oh! step back. He did, this just came me. out of his pants, okay? So step back. I just oh! you the step head. back. I am over here, but you don't have to handle him like that. You do not, that's my Back up or you'll get cuffed too. Oh. Damn! <laughs> yeah, that's right, sir. Let him know. Oh! And loaded. One in the Mom. chamber. Mom, I did nothing. Ow. Shut up. Calm down. Get my wallet. No. Stay back. Can you hear me? Oh. No. 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 Can wait no. Back there. We'll deal with it in a second. I don't. Damn, they got back or back up. I don't know. They said they got a gun off of him. I really don't know. It was in his pants. No, you got a body cam. Just. Pull my pants ah. up. I don't have nothing in my stuff. You lied before. Shut up. Like, I need my shoes. Mom, my phone. Mom. 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 What's that? Why is he going to jail? Because he resisted and he's in possession of a concealed firearm. I did not resist. They slammed me on the ground. I'm going on the sidewalk. Hey. Still resisting. I'm going on the sidewalk. I'm going on the sidewalk. And they slammed me. Stop. Hey, Mom, they told me go in the Mom. door. Where's the fucking slam me on the? Mom, they do a push. Mom, mommy, 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 mama. No. This is sad, man. Yo, man, I was 16 years old, being placed in handcuffs. I didn't dare scream for mom once. This generation got to be tough. No, this generation gotta toughen up. Y'all you gotta toughen up. But I bet you though. You, be, you probably be one of those guys that probably be terrorizing the neighborhood and terrorizing other people. But when the cops show up now, oh, mom, mom. But yeah, yeah. That's like a guy you saw him before, big tough guy, until the cops showed him what time it was. That's how they all are. The majority of them. Mom, now you see, right? Why don't you call for dad? Where dad at? Call dad. 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 Yeah, we ain't here. One dad here. 
Mom, mom, and she won't even address the situation about the gun. My son, that's my son, my son. This is why they continue to do what they are doing. And this is why they continue to be in and out the system. This is why they continue to terrorize society. This is why they continue to carjacking at the age of 13 now. You guys seen on the news now. 13, 12, 11 years old, they're carjacking. Where's the mom? Where's the parent? Why is your 11 year old out at 10 o'clock at night carjacking? Don't he got school? So this is why, same situation, they gotta charge the parents. This is going too far now. I you know what I like? I saw some case like a but a month ago where her son was very young. He was like seven, eight years old, right? And something, I forgot exactly what he did, man. I didn't, I didn't read the full story of it. But <laughs> What he did was outrageous. And the mom had warnings about the son's behavior. War Listen, you hear what I said? Warnings. Not my boy. Not my little journey. He wouldn't do nothing like that. Guess what he did? He did exactly what the warning was about, ma'am. You know what the judge did? Ma'am, you're going to jail. <laughs> Don't want to sit and act like the kids can't do anything wrong. Even when they have the proof. That's like she has the proof right here. I said, my son, my son. He me in my head. He pushed me my back three times. He pushed me my neck. Dude. Take a breath, man. Take a breath. Even the cop was like, man, damn. Right here, okay? Just let down. Let him Shut do up. that job. Take a breath. Finally, she's saying something positive. Damn. I don't mind. I don't mind. That's the day if he did this. Oh, my God. Here looking like a bird Bro, nest. Excuse me? Can you loosen these cuffs up a little bit, please? No. Shut up. So where was he even coming from? I don't know, ma'am. I showed up after the struggle between so the two who officers. Was the officer that pulled him over. Which officer pulled him over? That's the officer I wanted to speak to. This kid Delta. How old is your son? He just turned 18. Okay, then we don't have under no obligation to tell you anything. Yeah. Right? So you know. He's an adult. Okay. That, so what I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna as the supervisor, what I'm gonna tell as you. Okay, as a supervisor. And I know you're a parent. I, I am. Absolutely. Yes, ma'am. Okay. But what I'm going to tell you, these officers conducted a traffic stop. Mm -hmm. Okay? Your son resisted. When I showed up, he was on the ground handcuffed. I am the officer that pulled this out of your son's underwear. Okay? That's not a commonplace. I'm sure he's not licensed to carry this. So that's, that's a jail it's sentence it's right not there. A, it's not a safe. You don't have to be like Yes, you do. Here. To conceal it, oh. you do, ma'am. Yes, absolutely. And that's well, not, it's not holstered. I don't carry my firearm in my underwear, okay, clinched between my butt cheeks. That's exactly where it was, and that's what my report is going to say. Mm -hmm. Ooh, shout out to that sergeant. Talk to her. Yeah, yeah, you a parent? Yeah, that's right, sir. Talk to her like a parent. Yeah, my, my, my son. Yeah, your son is an adult. No, you should have given him that pep talk when he was getting older. You got to let him know how life is. How the real world operates. You want to baby them until they're like 30. Shout out to that sergeant. Yes. That's how you handle that. Yeah. Keep, uh, my, uh, my, yeah. You need to worry about him having that gun. Now you need to go home, ma'am, and check his room. I'm pretty sure he's still living with you. So why don't you go there and check his room? All right? Guys, no, real quick, before we finish it off. There was, a, it was another situation too in, in, well, in Chicago. When the cops, right? I don't know. I don't know what the parents were doing, right? But they got a tip off in in the school about a kid having multiple firearms. Keep in mind, guys, he's only seventeen, right? When they went, they, they get the well, they got a search warrant. They went in, guys. I swear to you, not. They found like about thirteen guns, casings everywhere in the room. Don't you go in your kid's room? Don't you check on him? Hey, how was your day? Nothing? Guys, he had 13 guns. Pathetic. Jail, jail. Manhandle that boy. That's what I'm talking about. And I was literally doing everything they said. They said go on the sidewalk. I went on the sidewalk. They start like walking up with me. I said, I'm on the phone, can you please not? 
to grab me and then he kept walking up on me. So I that's not what we saw. Everything they said. Everything they said. I wasn't there, brother. I yeah, wait, is do they have the body cam footage though, right? Oh yeah, dude. I I my dude. Oh my gosh. Wait, 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 wait. What the hell did I just witness? Yo, man, why didn't you act like that? From the beginning. You wouldn't have been sitting in the back of the cop car. See, you see, you have it in you to be impolite, but you saw what time it was. You saw these cops can't be pushed around. They pushed back. Yeah, we never had a real man roughed you up like that a little bit, huh? Yeah, look at them humble and nice and polite. Dude, yeah, I don't know, man. Like, they did this to me, man. Oh, they have the body cam for... No, no, he wants to be a gentleman. Wow. Okay. So they do have it in them. Okay. So she's gone to except for resisting. Can you please loosen it? Can no. I call my mom? Uh, yeah, call my mama. Can I call her and can you please She slipped out this? of her car. It's breaking my <laughs> It's breaking scoot, my scoot, scoot this way. Scoot this way. Please. Here, step oh, out. God. Turn around. They're gonna, they go behind you. Okay, okay but can you not tie it? won't be tight. I won't. I won't. It won't. All right, I'll loose. fix it. I'll fix it for you. Put them I'm going to fix this one before I adjust this one, okay? Okay. Can you please call my mother? How old are you? I just turned 18. Okay, yeah, no. you, you can call her. We'll let you call her. Did you yeah. call her? I have you been chewing patted down. You can get another. Um, the boat just <laughs> turned 18. Wow. Okay. Alright, I'm just making make sure you didn't. Anything? Yeah. Where are the old tussle hat? But I think the reason he had his arms locked like that was. um keep the gun from falling. Probably. Stuff from the back. I, yeah, when I went to grab it between his like, I literally like almost hit the <laughs> trigger. I can't video that happens with the trigger Does he need these to see or do you want them? Yeah, he wears prescription. Okay. Right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna bring these. Alright guys, I pretty much said everything I need to sit throughout the video. You know I, ho I hope this helps some young people man. Look guys this is why now the mom wants to be talking nice and sweet to the police officers. Young man, when you got that wake-up call, you saw you acting, try to apply that behavior that you display in the back of the police car. You'll be very nice and respectful. Try to apply that to your everyday life. Guns, weed. That's not the way, man. Try and better yourself and better your life. Being put in these type of situations, you guys put yourselves in this situation for absolutely no reason. Because you felt entitled. Because you felt like nobody should tell you what to do. That's what that was. You felt like you was in control. But today, they showed you who was in control. Get it together, man. You're too young. You don't have nothing to prove. The tough guy act. The disrespectful act. It's not really you, man. You're trying to be something that you're not. Otherwise, you'd have kept that energy throughout that entire video. Your tone changed when you're sitting in the back of that police car. Get it together, get it. Mom, have that talk with your son. So in that way, this could avoid future incidents. Give him that talk. All right? Unbelievable, man. Uh, <laughs> it's just the level of disrespect for app are you just disrespectful for no reason you were never taught how to act in public that that's that's what i got from that because there's no way man the, and you know what you have on you like i just want to understand but but individuals right you put yourself in this position when you know you have drugs on you you have a gun on you I, shouldn't you be complying to avoid the cops having to search you they do everything backwards, and then they're surprised when things go left. Like, I, come on, man. Y'all got to stop with this, man. Y'all really got to stop. Use this, all right? Try using that. She like, call my mom. Can I call my mom? Yeah, she got humble. You guys saw her attitude, right? When she saw them cops turned up. Oh, oh, oh my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
It, does, it doesn't hurt you to be respectful. It don't hurt you to be polite. It don't hurt you to comply. It, it, it does nothing to you. When you don't do that, you make things 10 times worse for yourself. Ah, oh, man. Hey, man, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section. And let me know what you think about this video in the comments. Do you guys honestly believe that he learned something during this arrest? Or, or both of them? In their case, I hope they do. Until then, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. You guys have a blessed day.